everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Sindel coming to you live from my bedroom. Ah, fancy. This is where the magic happens. You know what they used to say on MTV Cribs? This is where the magic happens. Shit, this is the only place where the magic happens. That's pretty sad. Hell, your magic should be happening in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your hallway. Anyway, not why I'm here. Drinking scotch. Can't feel my head. It's pretty neat. Is there anything better than an 18-year-old scotch? So the reason why I'm here today recording this video is I don't want to record because I hate recording videos. As I said last time I recorded a video, this just isn't my thing. I'm very much out of my element here. I'm kind of uncomfortable, feel a little weird. Last time you guys talked about my nipples and it just, it, it makes me very self-conscious. Um, but have to share this with somebody so I'm going to share it with you because I like you we're friends I got something today in the mail very special something and I was a little confused because this particular something is not supposed to ship until October 24th which is next Thursday but I have one here and I asked around, and so far as I know, one other person besides me and Bag, who lives in my house, so of course he would have one too, um, one other person has received theirs. And what I'm talking about is the EVE Online Second Decade Collector's Edition. It came today. It's so cool that it came today. And I thought it would be neat to share with all of my friends and show you what's in my box. Yeah. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because some of you guys kind of, some of you asked me to, but for the people who already ordered yours, it will get you excited for what is coming to you over the course of the next couple of weeks. And for the people who haven't ordered theirs yet, it will give you an idea of what exactly you're buying so that maybe you can make a more informed decision and purchase one for yourself. And it's not enough to just look at pictures of something and decide that you want it because I'm sure CCP has a fantastic marketing team that took a lot of pictures and like the little white mirror light box um, thing to make all the stuff look as fancy as possible and I don't have a marketing team. They look at me. Hmm. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna open my box so you can see what's inside and make a more informed decision. I want to start this though because someone asked me where do you live? Because maybe shipping is based on geography. I live in Florida as most people know and this came from Kennesaw, Georgia um, which is 10 hours driving so yeah maybe the box came to me first because I live closest in proximity. Or maybe it came to me first because I'm awesome. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Someone has to. So, this thing. Oh god, substantial. This is the box. It's a heavy box. It's a big box. I mean, this is my hand. This is the box. It's a big fucking box. I mean, look at the box compared to the girl. The box is really big. It's also really heavy. Girl box, girl box. I'm dropping it because it's, it's heavy. Um, you can see it says Eve Online, the second decade. It has all the neat stuff on it. And a really pretty nebula, although they picked the reddish brown one. Um, and I like the cauldron. The cauldron's pretty neat. So you take off this protective sleeve, which is cool. I mean, first you gotta take off your plastic, but I already did. So you take off the protective sleeve, and then you've got this box, and you take off the lid. Lid. And the first thing you notice is that the inside of this box smells really bad. But it's okay, because then, you know, your nose kind of adjusts and, and stuff, and this is what you see. Isn't that great? It's so pretty. So, first thing we've got 
in here. I know everybody wants to see this. This is your Rifter. This is a four port USB hub um, in the shape of a Rifter. It's got a stand that I have downstairs on my desk. I didn't put it back in the box because I really didn't feel like sticking two hard pieces of plastic back in my box if I didn't have to. Um, and it's neat because you can take it off or, or you know, play around with it if you feel like actually playing with your Rifter instead of using it for what it's meant to be used for. Um, you know, warp drive, active. You can do that. Or you can put it on the stand and plug your ports in. There's four here and then there's a micro USB thingy that you plug in for power and this lights up um, when it's plugged in. It's, it's big. It's pretty substantial. I put it at about six inches long which is a little bit shorter than I'd like but it works for me for now. Um, it is Ding, ding. Did you hear that? That is somebody trying to talk to me when I am busy. They need to go away. So, and it's plastic. It's hard. Ow. Um, so, it's only going to break if you really make it break. Don't do that because they're going to be valuable. Um, it's nice molded plastic and the rust color is like perfect. It looks like it's going to fall apart at any minute. Classic Minotaur. The only problem I have with this beautiful ship is that the USB cord that they give you is this long. So you have to plug it in here and then this little piece of crap cord has to fit into your USB ports in the top or the back of your computer. Not everybody, okay, this is for you CCP, not everybody keeps their tower on their desk. Mine is enormous. It is under my desk. So this is retarded. I had to go online onto Newegg, thank you Newegg, $2, um, and order a three foot long cord so that this is usable for me. So if your tower is underneath your desk, you might want to invest in one of these before your box gets there because th I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's, it's pretty useless. Um, but this is not. This is awesome. So we're just going to put this gently off to the side. The next thing you see is the Danger Game. Now, all the boxes that I saw online of this game were enormous. I thought this thing would be massive, and it's smaller than the Rifter. It's tiny. Maybe because it's got guard on the front, and they wanted him to seem bigger than he is. So they put him on a smaller box so that he looks huge. That's my logic. Svenny, I love you. You know that. Um, but you are really small. It's cute. So that was my thinking behind this. And I'm like, well, how the hell did they fit the board in here? Because I saw the commercial for it, and I saw I saw Dolan playing, and it kind of turned me off of the whole game thing. Um, but then I, you know, kind of just got over that. But when you lift up the first layer of, of cardboard that you don't really need, um, underneath is the Danger Game board. So it is an actual board. It's a big board. And it's got really cool pictures of people like CCP Ripley and Seagull and Hilmar and Alice. Um, they're all on here. It's pretty neat. Um, can't wait to play this. And then, so all of your pieces are in here and then your board is off to another side. So, works for me. I got this thing out next. And I thought, since it's, you know, the game collector's edition, that they would have a disc of the game, which is kind of dumb because now that you can download it on the internet for free, who the hell needs a disc for it? Um, so I kind of just tossed it and I was like, what the fuck ever. Um, but then I read something about special items. And I'm like, well, where are my special items? So I opened this up. And inside this foldy thing are all of the special items that you ordered. Or you get along with your order. And the symphony disc. So, the night before FanFest started, the Icelandic Symphony Orchestra played all of Eve Online's music live. I didn't go. I was too busy getting drunk at the Celtic Cross, but I was a little sad that I didn't go. But here is a really nice recording of it right here. So here is all of your in-game special collector's edition items. Um, there's a code on the back of this card. It just pops right out. You put the code in and you get your stuff. The one on the top, the super spy looking black one that's got like no pictures on it, 
This is your special collector's edition code. It gives you your Plex, and it also gives you all kinds of free items that CCP will release periodically over the course of the next few years. So as long as you input this code when you get this box, you will get magical stuff appearing in your hangar. It would be like Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, it'll be like present day. It will be present day. Not to be confused with the past or the future, it will be present day. Um, over here on this side is the card for the Dust 514 items. And it was hard for me to get it out because I didn't get it out earlier because I played Dust like twice in my life. So I am probably not going to use this card, sadly. I hear it's a really fun game though. I just, me and first person shooters, we don't really get along. So if anybody, you know, is interested in, in talking to me about this particular card, maybe if you're going to FanFest next year and you haven't ordered one of these, we can talk over some alcohol. Not going to sell it to you because that's illegal. But So you fold this all back up. Oh, no, no, that's all. There we go. It goes back into its little CD case thing. And back to the side of the box. Now, the last thing you get in the actual box, and mind you, you get, a, a, like, a shit ton of stuff in-game. I put in those two codes, and I had, like, four outfits for, like, my girl characters and my guy characters. I had my golden pod. I'm the only person I know of right now flying around Tranquility in a golden pod, and it's pretty sweet. Um, it's all shiny and stuff. Not as golden as I thought it would be, but it's still pretty cool. Um, there's also, like, implants and a bunch of like cards and stuff for celebrating alliance tournament winners. Um, there's a piece of Steve in there. I feel kind of weird having a piece of Steve in my, my hanger, but I guess it's better than having a piece of Steve in my box. I had a piece of Steve in my box once, but that was like high school, so we don't talk about that. Anyway, the last thing in this beautiful box is the... Stop dinging! I don't want to talk right now. I'm busy is the Eve Into the Second Decade book, which is full of art, which I thought was just it. I thought it was just art, but it's actually full of stories um, that are written by prominent Eve players and other, you know, people who work for CCP. They, they have to write this because um, it's their job. But no, there are actually, you know, stories from from Freebooted, Seismic Stan, and there's, you know, a story from the Mitanni in here. I read his. It was pretty neat. He has fantastic hair. And just, you know, a bunch of pictures of CCP Shanghai and, you know, the offices in Reykjavik, and it's basically everything you wanted to know about CCP that happened over the last 10 years. Um, Eve, Dust, everything, the whole story, starting with the very first game that they launched, the very first part that they launched, and going all the way up, every single expansion um, they elaborate on, all the way through Dust, they talk about the Empyreans a lot, I only got this thing a few hours ago, so I haven't read the whole thing, so if I'm not being very specific, I'm sorry, um, talk to me again in a couple days. There are some really neat pictures in here of the, that guy kind of looks like Hans Jager Blitzen. Right there, underneath the Summer of Rage thing. He's, see, he's got the eye things. Uh, but it's a, a pretty swell book. It smells funny, but it's a very good looking book. Did I show you the front? I don't think I showed you the front. This is the front of the book. Oh yeah, fancy ships. I like them. They're really I do. Punishers are cool. So yeah. That is what is inside my box. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more while I pack all this stuff up because I'm really anal about stuff like this and I want to make sure that it stays nice and neat because that's the kind of person that I am. We put the danger game back on the bottom and we put this thing, which is my favorite part of this box, was the codes in here. I am already wearing the new clothes, by the way, so if you go click on Sindel Pelian in-game, that is the girl outfit, minus the gold heels, because the only people who should wear gold heels and have it be socially acceptable are like old ladies on a cruise or strippers. I am neither, so 
gold heels, just not for me. But yes, click on my character and you get to see what the outfit looks like. Um, I took off the white t-shirt underneath and just left the jacket on with no shirt because I thought it looked cooler. I'm going to go back downstairs after I finish this and I'm going to plug my Rifter back in. And it can't be used as a USB port, but it can sit on top of my tower and just have a flashy light at me. That That's going to have to be enough for now. Until New Wave delivers my new cord in three days. So that's it. That is what's in the collector's edition. I hope you liked what was inside my box. And if you didn't, that's cool because soon you will have a box of your own and you can just like what's in yours. Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. And cheers. I will see you later. Scotch is amazing, isn't it? So amazing. I don't know if you guys saw this. This is in a biohazard cup because apparently alcohol's bad for you. Tell that to me and Harry. He'd be like, no, it's not. You know what's bad for you? Republicans. Go get yours. Go get your box. It's got cool stuff in it. Box, the two of us need to look no more. I will get real drunk and fall on the floor. But I'll always have my box, and the stuff inside it rocks, and you might think I'm lame. You're just jealous because you don't have a box.